We've seen some spotty sprinkles today, especially in the mid to upper Snake River Plain. Haven't seen a lot of rain or wet weather threats getting into the Gate City just quite yet. More of that's though coming in here for tonight as we get through the evening hours. There's a band of wet weather that's sliding out of Twin Falls in the Magic Valley later this evening. But we're going to see scattered showers through tonight. Bit of a break for tomorrow with more showers on the way with some gustier winds for this weekend. Currently, we're at 56 degrees at the Pocatello Airport. Winds out of the southwest at 11 miles an hour. We're seeing spotty showers right now in Idaho Falls at 49 degrees and light winds at 3 miles an hour. Moving over into places like Jackson, we got rain and snow falling at the moment. 40 degrees for you at the, at the airport right now with winds out of the west southwest at 5 miles an hour. And we've had some showers and salmon, but we're starting to see little breaks in the clouds for the moment. 42 degrees with with no wind right now there showing up at the Lemhi County Airport. So we got the rain currently working through portions of the mid to upper Snake River Plain. I want to draw your attention though. We got more wet weather coming out of Boise and Mountain Home at the moment getting into Twin Falls and this is going to continue trekking to the east here towards the lower and mid parts of the Snake River Plain for tonight and early tomorrow morning. Right now you got some rain stretching along I-15 and US-20 moving to the north towards the Montana state line and that snow mix there on Teton Pass. We're going to keep the snow level pretty high here because we're pulling in these systems due west here. We're not getting a big blast of cold air and we're not getting that warm air from the south. We're just kind of in between high pressure and low pressure. The fronts are going to roll through here with some gustier conditions with those winds and that's what's going to stay. Uh, that's what's going to keep it windy here for both Saturday, Sunday and well into next week. So we have some showers with us for Friday, but more wet weather waiting in the wings for this weekend and stretching into next week there for your Monday and Tuesday. And you'll see that in your eight day forecast. Some snow tonight around Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks. Bit of some rain in the Snake River Plain and moving into the Snake Highlands will push those showers into the foothills and mountains for tomorrow morning. But you'll notice that we don't get a lot of wet weather for the Snake River Plain tomorrow. There's a chance of wet weather, but we're not seeing anything crazy. We're just looking at a few isolated showers here for your Friday. Our next decent chance of steady rain actually arriving Friday and Saturday. I should say Saturday afternoon getting into Saturday evening here about four five and six o'clock. In the afternoon and evening hours, that's when we have rain and snow starting to drift back through. And then more wet weather funneling in here for Sunday and Monday. Temperatures tomorrow at 49 for Soda Springs and Lava. Mid-50s for Preston with lows back to the 30s tonight. We're going to be about 47 in Dubois with 46 in Driggs. And 47 in Jackson with the upper 40s in Rexburg. Lows down into the 20s and 30s. Jackson expect to see more rounds of wet weather here for Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday and Tuesday. With rain during the day, snow at night in the early morning hours because it's going to be cold enough at night to see some snow there in Jackson and Island Park. Rexburg, a high of 48 for tomorrow, 52 for Saturday and Sunday. Rain showers off and on as we get through this weekend, along with those pesky winds and the winds sticking around for Monday and Tuesday. A high of 51 for Arco and Mackey, 54 for Chalice, and we got highs around 52 for Ketchum. A check of the forecast for salmon revealing highs here in the low 50s this weekend, off and on showers for Monday, and a high of 51 for Monday afternoon with lows back into the upper 20s to low. 30s. Idaho Falls should get to a high of 52 tomorrow with 58 in Pocatello and 58 in American Falls. Eight day forecast for Blackfoot showing us highs here at 56 for Saturday and then 54 for Sunday. We got numbers into the 40s next week. We expect to see some numbers uh, starting to try to warm up towards next weekend, but we're pretty much stuck with the cooler numbers as we get on the other side of the storm system once it begins to clear middle of next week. Pocatello high of 61 for Saturday. We got 56 for Sunday and we got temperatures as we get into highs in the 40s next week. We're looking at lows back into the 30s at night, even some 40s for those overnight lows. So not a horrible storm with the cold air, but just kind of an annoying storm with the wind and the rain showers. Idaho Falls, we got highs here at 54 for Saturday, 52 for Sunday, and then we got 40s next week. Okay.